Danielle, what do you got, girl? Are you ready for this? Are you sitting down? Listen. I finally got in touch with Aerosmith Management. The band wants to buy the van and use it in their Vegas residency. Are you kidding me? Wow. What? This has been a long road with this van, and now we're down to the last 350 miles. And the closer we get, the more I'm starting to worry and wonder, what am I going to say to Aerosmith? What do you even say to a band that's been such a big part of your life? Here we come, Vegas, baby. You got it. Aerosmith. I can't believe this. OK, so. That's good. That's good. I know it's been a while, but I'm so excited. I, I can't am wait to show over the moon. It to you. Come on, Beck. All right. We're good. That's close to the end. close enough. Smells like gasoline. Joe, you ready for this? Ta-da! Yeah, yeah. Oh. Holy <laughs> <shit. Yeah. laughs> hey, hey, no, honor, honor, honor. Oh, my God. Oh. How, are How are you, you doing, doing, brother? I'm doing well. Very well. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I've been listening to this band since I was a kid. I mean, I'm standing here next to Steven Tyler, Joe Perry, Brad Whitford, Joey Kramer, and Tom Hamilton. This is a mind blower. What do you think, Joe? Thank you guys. That's the money shot. I, I think you. it's amazing. So much. All of the miles that I was spending trying to figure out what to say to them, I realized I didn't need to say anything. Nobody did. We were all just taking it in. Let me tell you a little bit about this guy. OK. This guy's name was Mark Lehman. He drove the van. He serviced the van. He set up our gear, and he ran the sound system. Mark was buddies with me and Tom before we moved to Boston. You guys did such a great job making it look like it did then, because it does have the, this is the kind of wear that was on it. Except it's missing the tree that grew through the window. <laughs> <laughs> the doors were rotted on the bottom. Oh, wait, 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 I gotta do set. that. You gotta do it. Did you, you just it. hear that? You know, there's two sounds. There's two sounds that, that I remember. One is the tape rewinding yeah. in the studio mm. and that. And that door. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Well, I, I can't believe it. Get in there, you gotta christen it. I can't believe it drives, man. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Here we come. <laughs> Yeah, we had two guys in our shop in Tennessee mm -hmm. that worked hour after hour on making sure that everything on this van was up to what you guys would want it to be. When you guys said you wanted to preserve it, our guys got on it. It boggles my mind that the only thing that made it through 35 years in the woods is the artwork. Yeah. I know. It was almost like the dirt and grime had preserved it. We drove it all the way down the strip, and people were like going, yeah! Oh, yeah, people were freaking out. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell. They love that they made the decision to preserve and not restore the van. From here all the way back to this piece right here yeah. is original paint. This was gone. I yeah, mean, it was all in the of ground. this was gone. And that's why when Danielle started talking to you guys about getting Look a donor van, to find panels or to make panels like this yeah. would have been almost you know, impossible. Then we matched the rust that was on the other door. We had an nice. incredible painter, had a really good process. So the frame underneath here the engine in the rear end is from the donor van. That's wow. okay. This whole front end is from the donor van, yeah. other than the grill. Did the donor van have a window on this side? No. Mark had cut that window in it. Yeah. Everything that we could use from the original van, we did meticulously. Come on, all aboard. Tom, yeah, get, get in, in there. there. Get in there, Brad. Remember the old days. That's I good. <laughs> No stash. I mean, you know, we spent a lot of time and hours in traveling in this in this box, and it looks and feels no, the same. The same. Yay, so that's good. good that's good. good. Yeah. Yeah. They were there talking about this van in a way that they've never talked about before. Because when they were in the van, they didn't know at the time how important this was to them. They were riding from show to show, trying to figure it all out, and it was just a utility vehicle to them. Now, with all the fame, all the fortune, they're just five guys from Boston reminiscing about a van that literally changed their lives. I can't remember a time when we were less stuck. It always ran. Mark took such good care of it. He kept this thing really well. And looking back, of course, I think Mark Lehman was so much our savior. We all lived together. We were all like, you know, doing our thing. Yeah, you guys kind of all that, raised each other. That was a dream to move to Boston, all live together, all at once. and write some songs, you know? To finally meet Joe and, and Tom, they rocked out like none of my bands ever had. 
that you're still doing it to yeah. this day, still as yeah. a family. We've been living the dream. We're lucky. We're us lucky. too. Thanks yeah, for letting us are. be a yeah. small part yep. of it. When this van came into our lives, we knew it was something special. We've been having a moment with it for a long time, through the whole process. Now, seeing them have their moment makes it all worthwhile. So what's the next step for the van? Well, I think we're going to bring Mark Lehman into the picture because we haven't seen him for 40 years. We'll nice. give him a try. And we'll let him drive it yeah. down the we'll aisle of our residency here in Vegas with us in it. I'll yes. bring back some memories for him. That would be so. incredible. No, so, and somehow <laughs> it's going to end up at the, hopefully, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Yeah, and, that, would yeah. that would be great. To find it. the damn thing and bring it to us? What a handoff. Yeah. There are no I mean, we're honored, we're honored yeah. to be a part of the story. We truly are. A lot of bands had had their vans, their Econo lines, but this was ours. Another was couple really of years, bad. and it would have been part of the forest mm -hmm. again. And we saved it. You guys are the only guys that could have done it, man. There's nobody else out there doing that kind of stuff. When this van came into our lives, it was rotting into the ground. And you know, after we bought it, I always hoped we could make it to where we are now. And after all of this time and all of this hard work, we put the van back where it belongs, in Aerosmith's hands. No.